Yo, so today, man, we out here, man, about to, about to finish breaking this, this uh motor down, man, and God have mercy, man, the freaking crank boat kicked my ass, I ain't gonna lie to you, but we got it out, well, I got it out, and um, we gonna go ahead and finish breaking the sucker down, so y'all, y'all hold tight. Oh, yeah, if y'all not subscribed to the channel, man, if y'all not subscribed to the channel, man, y'all go ahead and subscribe button, go ahead and hit the bell so y'all get notifications when I be uploading these videos, man, but uh, anyway, man, let me uh turn the camera around, man. There go the boat. That bitch was a mother sucker to get out, but we got it out, you know what I'm saying? Got the sucker out, so we about to uh, get ready and take this crank off and then uh, start pulling everything off. So, y'all hold tight. So, this is how it's supposed to be on like this. And these damn wasps over here, I'm about to knock these motherfuckers out. Oh, Lord. What is that motherfucker with? <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, got the. Let me close this door, y'all. Hey, if y'all ain't seen the build of this, man, y'all go check it out, man. It's on the family channel. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's called the Clay Crew. C-H-T-H-E-C-L-A-Y-C-R-E-W. Clay Crew. So anyway, I'm about to get ready and take this bad boy off. But this is how it go on like that. You got your point down there going through the uh, going through the crank. So and then we about to get that thing off. So y'all hold tight. So we got the crank off, y'all. I mean, got the pulley off. Well, I keep saying crank. Got the pulley off, so I'm about to put this back in the uh, box. I keep locking the door, y'all. Right. So, put this back in the box. Don't need that right now. So, anyway, got the pulley off, so I'm about to take this valve cover off. About to open up, see what she got on up in there. All right, y'all, so. Got the uh the fucking uh sprocket off for the cam, so I'm about to get ready and take this uh snatch this cam on out of there, y'all. So whoo, y'all hold tight. Yep, going in the house, man. I done broke my motherfucking goddamn thing off of that. Yep, taking my ass in there. All right, y'all. So it is the next day, man, and uh yeah, so. <laughs> So it was a long day yesterday, man. So uh, let me tell you what happened. Let me show you what happened. So upon taking the cam retainer plate out, two bolts end up stripping out. And then my uh, hex head alley end up just, they, uh, he just wanted to break. So broke off in there. So uh, I've been talking to a lot of people um, about removing the cam and nobody, told me uh basically you know they were saying that you can get those out and stuff like that so what i did was come around here took the red plate off right so took the red plate off and you know i was asking a lot of people can you take the cam out from the back a lot of people said you don't want to take the cam out from the bag uh because you have to end up pulling the whole motor if the motor is in the car blah blah blah, blah. but anyway so look y'all we can take that back, that, that sucker out the back. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, and then I'll probably end up fixing uh, this BS uh, later. But anyway, we gonna snatch the cam out from the back. So I'm about to put this on the lift and um, get it off that sand so I can take that bracket off. And then once I take that bracket off, then boom, we can go ahead and pull that cam out the back, then put it back on the stand. So y'all stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. If no, if somebody tells you that you cannot pull the cam out from the back, they're lying. Um, so y'all stay tuned, man. Y'all definitely stay tuned. All right, so y'all can see it's already starting to come out. Uh, let me uh. Let me, I can't do this with two hands. Hold on, y'all hold tight. I can't go from the back because it's stopping me. It's stopping that big ass, that piece right there in the middle. It's stopping at the can van. I can come all the way out that far and it stopped. It's stopping right there. Yep. It's stopping at the can being right there. So, can't go out the back, brother. Okay, now nah, I just feel dumb as fuck. But uh, anyway, so can't pull it out from the back because 
it's a lip right here so it won't go it'll go through this part and then they have like this much of the cam out from the back but it's too much of a big ass lip so it won't go through the second cam bearing so we gotta take this uh cam retainer and plate off which is really shitty but it is what it is um so anyway we'll figure it out so fuck we'll figure it out man but um so if i do any uh anything else today i'll update y'all man so uh y'all definitely stay tuned hey y'all so it's like a couple days later my man dallas hey he a mopar guy but uh you know i had to get him over here with the ls so that's that's one down i was able to get the other one out so that's one down want me to heat that one up no now we gotta get that off <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> um i got some quiet man just beat that mother <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we got got it out, y'all. Well, Dallas got this one out, so now we gotta get that one out, and we good to go. Damn, that motherfucker wanna stay on there? Uh, Son of a bitch. Uh, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, we gonna get back with y'all. Well, upon inspection, fellas, you guys, ladies, girls, Cam Baron. And build it on the cam back there, as you can see. So look at it down from the top. Yeah, hey. see it's right there. It's a cam bearing on the cam. Ain't that some shit, y'all? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so gotta get that fixed so we can get the cam out. And then gotta do new cam bearings, y'all. So <sighs> yeah, so y'all hold tight. Got that motherfucker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, look at this shit. I got the cam out now. Ain't that some shit? I guess with lube and... I guess because when I heated it up, it must have damn expand when I had to get the cam boat out. That's what I think what happened. It heated up and it spanned the damn bearing, so I couldn't get it out. But I wonder if that holds some good, though. I wonder if that damn... Even though the cam fucked up on the second hole, I wonder if that holds some good to... So they can replace the cam bearing in that motherfucker. I hope. I hope it's still some good shit. Guess we'll see. Hell, I'm probably not taking it to the damn machine shop. Block loaded up. About to go to the machine shop. Y'all, so this is the continue, man. I got a package in for new heavy. You know what I'm saying? Got a package in for new heavy. This actually was supposed to... This actually is supposed to be for the new... The new, uh motor or whatnot but uh i might as well go ahead and put it on the temporary motor but uh anyway oh update on that um i got the motor broken down hold on hold on let me get hold on hold on, hold on. So got the motor broken all the way down that's the crank pistons rods you know all that good stuff so what i'm gonna do is uh i got the block to the at the machine shop because uh as y'all know the cam bearing basically got uh stuck on the cam but i end up taking it end up was able to get the cam bearing off take the cam out and then um so we end up taking that taking a block to the um to the shop but uh yeah so what i'm gonna do is um getting uh new main bearings put them on a crank uh so i can throw the crank back in there when i get the block back um new rod bearings and new uh piston rings and then all this is going back in the block and then we gonna wait on the cam um so and then we still gotta wait still gotta wait on uh my high ram to get here because i still don't have my high ram um i went and got another one so i still don't have that but anyway uh i update with y'all i update i update y'all on that later later on probably in the next video or something like that um but this is God, Lee, and my camera falls up, man. So, this is what I've been waiting on. This actually is supposed to come in September, but I guess they, uh, I guess they was able to give it to me early. I guess or was able to get the parts for it early. But I'm just glad that it's here. 
because I was going to use my temporary uh, Kodak intake, but since this was here, I can go ahead and use this bad boy. But yeah, so as y'all know, I had ran, I was running this uh, before one time, um, and I made good power with it, so I decided to go back to it. But, uh, okay, you got that. Yeah. But, uh, this is Ram, as y'all may know, y'all already know. But, yeah. I was, like I said, I ran this on my first setup. I should have kept it, but I, I went boost, so I ended up selling it. But, uh, anyway, we got it back. Um, I hope it's the right one, because it looked like it's kind of off. Uh, I guess we'll see. Cause it should be straight, but I guess we'll see, man. But uh, anyway, so got it from Summit. A great, great guys. Uh, I guess this is all the hardware and all that stuff. So we'll go roll with it. But anyway, so I just wanted to show y'all that, man. But, uh, so that's the end of the video. And, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, got my baby back. That bitch clean in a motherfucker, bro. I tell you that. Clean, 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 clean. Yes, sir. Mm, look at the old heads. Looking ugly. Got them 243 heads. New springs on that bitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.